Okay, hi all, my name is Kira Williams and I'm here with We Apply. I'm here today just for a brief five minute kind of overview, I'm excited. We're starting something called 47 Days of College Awareness. And so during these 47 days, um, for the next 47 days, we're going to be highlighting and profiling colleges in Arkansas. So the two year and four year institutions, we're gonna be doing just a brief overview so that students can get some in-depth information. Um, something that I find a lot is that students have this idea about the colleges they wanna to go to, but they don't know anything about the college. That's an issue for me. So during this profile, um, we're gonna look at the different colleges and we're gonna be talking about things like admissions, the admissions requirements, what kind of test scores they need, um, the financial aspects, because that's a big one. A lot of our students say, hey, I want to go to this college, but then they don't even know how much the college costs. So that's an issue. So we're going to be looking at cost of attendance and tuition. Um, we're also going to be looking at scholarships that the school offers, which that's huge. Um, we need to know what kind of money I could be getting from this school. Also, what kinds of things do I need to do to prepare myself to apply for those scholarships? And then last but not least, um, definitely looking at the majors that that school offers. Uh, again, if there's something that I'm interested in, but maybe they don't offer it, maybe that might not be the school for me. So before we get our hopes dead set on these schools, I think it's very important that we start to encourage our children to learn more about this school. So I'm actually going to share my screen with you guys. And just in case I didn't tell you, the school we're going to do today is called Arkansas Baptist College. Arkansas Baptist College is in Little Rock, Arkansas, and it's on the campus, uh, well, it's on its own campus, but it's off of Martin Luther King Boulevard, uh, close to Children's Hospital, if you're not that familiar with Little Rock, and close to the state capital area. So, anywho, as I stated earlier, we're going to start in the admissions part. So I went to their website, and we can see their website up here. It's highlighted at the top. Um, and we're going to start at admissions and just kind of look and see what kinds of things a student needs to know if I wanted to go to Arkansas Baptist College. So um, if I'm applying, I need, they need to complete the application and there's a $25 non-refundable application fee. They need a official sealed high school transcript. That's pretty common. They need um, proof of immunizations. So I've heard of some people ask for that. They need ACT or SAT scores. So let's see if they have some minimum scores on here. Um, okay. I don't see score. I don't see specific specifics on score. Um, they do mention the compass test. Um, which the compass test is a test that students use if they have a low test score, like a low ACT or SAT score, um, typically to try to test them out of those remedial courses. Um, okay, I see mention of a GPA down here. Oh, this is, okay, something that's important to know um, if you guys don't know, they mention admittance on a conditional basis. So most schools on their website, it will say you're admitted regular admission or you're admitted conditionally. So when you're admitted conditionally, that means that we're going to put you on a probationary period. We want to see how you're going to do because maybe you didn't have the GPA or maybe you didn't have the test score 
to ensure that you would be successful uh, at the college level. So at Arkansas Baptist College, um, when you're on the conditional admission, you cannot enroll in more than 13 hours <clears throat> for the fall, the spring, and the summer. And you have to get at least a 2.0 grade point average, okay? So that sounds pretty doable, especially the 2.0 grade point average, but we don't see any ACT scores on here. Um, so just FYI, a lot of schools will have ACT scores that they're looking for. A lot of schools uh, will tell you, okay, you need at least this ACT score to be admitted on a regular admission basis, not conditionally. Typically students that have like below a 19 or a 20 will be, typically students that have a 19 or a 20 will be admitted on a conditional basis. So, um, moving on to the financial piece. So, Arkansas Baptist College, this is um, their part of their website, which talks about uh, the tuition and fees. So, I'm going to quickly go over cost of attendance. I don't know if this is something that you guys are familiar with, but cost of attendance is literally, you have tuition and fees, and tuition and fees is your base uh, amount that every student is going to pay. But then you have uh, other things like books and transportation, miscellaneous costs. Um, that's all included in the cost of attendance. So it's generally a way larger number than what you're, you're ever going to spend. But that gives you an idea of how much overall it will cost for you to attend the school. So we're going to be just kind of looking at the tuition and fees. So of course, tuition and fees are included in the cost of attendance. But looking at, and this is for 2017-2018, so it needs to be updated. But we're looking and we see that their tuition um, Per credit hour is around 360 something. Um, they have these additional fees that they charge. Every college has fees. And then if we go down a little bit, we can look and see, okay, these, this column represents the credits. So uh, typical high school Typical college students take anywhere from uh, 12 to 18 credits. Maybe 15 is like an average. 12 to 15 is average. So they kind of give you an estimate based on how many credits you have. And they tell you what your tuition would be. <clears throat> That's this column. So Obviously, the more credit hours we take, the more our tuition is going to be. Um, so for a typical load of, let's just say, 15 hours, we'll be looking at around $4,300. That's actually not bad. Um, and then we have some more fees over here. So it looks like it rounds up to maybe around 5000 So this is, that was strictly tuition, okay? And understand that tuition and room and board are separate things. Room is your dorm and board is your meal plan, typically. So they have your room prices depending on how long you're going to stay in. So um, two weeks is for summer. I was thinking, who stays in there for two weeks? But <laughs> um, 16 weeks, that looks like a full semester. So if you're going to stay in the different dorms. So they have one called Ripley, one called Hill, and then one called 1600. Um, it looks like they're based on double occupancy. So these are the prices. So the highest one looks to be around $2,300, okay? 
So above, we found our tuition tuition and fees probably would be around five thousand. Room will probably be at its highest, twenty three hundred. So we're looking around seventy three hundred. Um, and then board. So most likely, if you're on campus for sixteen weeks, you need a meal plan that lasts sixteen weeks. Um, and so. This is your number of meals. And I'm guessing this is per week because <laughs> nobody eats 19 meals for the entire semester. But um, 19 meals per week would be 2,000. 10 meals per week, 1,000. Five, two. So if anything, you know, we kind of see from our rough calculations if I take a typical course load of 15, that'd be around $5,000 in tuition. If I stay on campus for 16 weeks and I live in the best dorm, I could pay around $2,300. And um, if I need something to eat, because most of us do, that will be another $2,000. So we're looking at around $10,000, okay? Now, keep in mind that this nice number up here in regards to the tuition only takes into account one semester because most people take, most full-time students take 12 to 18 hours a semester. So your semester tuition will double. So essentially, this will be, if it was 5,000 for one semester, it would be 10,000 for two. Um, but however, our room and board Oh, it looks like the room and board is just for 16 weeks. Okay. So this will double as well. So that's why it's important to look and to know um, how much we're talking about. So it looks like we're almost talking about like $10,000 a semester. Okay. So again, knowledge is key. So... Next, we're gonna look at the scholarships. Something that I want to encourage students to start doing is to go on the college that they wanna to go to and start looking at the scholarships that that school hands out. What kind of money do they hand out? How much, what can I do to qualify? So we are looking at their website and they have a few scholarships. They got a good number. So just looking, we'll start here because I these numbers poke out. But looking at the National Dunbar Alumni Association Scholarship Endowment, to get this scholarship, I need a 2.5 GPA. Um, you have to be an African-American student. You must have financial need, which means you have to have some money left over that's unpaid, okay? Um, and it looks like it's a $2,000 at the least scholarship. Okay, so this doesn't look hard to <clears throat> qualify for. And it's actually for African-American students that have graduated from LRSD public high schools. So that's pretty cool. Um, that looks like an automatic $2,000. So, we see some other scholarships here. Um, they don't all necessarily have numbers, but it's a good practice to look at these scholarships and to see, hey, what do I have to do to qualify for these? So that way, if I did wanna go to Arkansas Baptist College, then I know when I start to think about the financial aid that I have, um, I know what I can kind of count on from the college. Like, I know how I'm going to fill in my gap because the goal is not to have to take out any student loans, okay? So, sorry. Last but not least, we have to look at what um, they're academic. We have to look at what majors they offer. So, Arkansas Baptist College has 13 degree programs to choose from. And they have a Department of Arts and Sciences, which includes their general studies degree, 
Fine Arts, uh, Fine and Performing Arts, Department of Public Administration, Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences. They have business. Um, they have entrepreneurship and community development. And they have religious studies. So it's important to know, hey, if I'm interested in Arkansas Baptist College, I need to make sure that they offer um, what I'm looking for in a school. So the rest is definitely up to you. Um, if Arkansas Baptist College is the school that you are wondering about, go visit their website. We see it at the top. Looks like it's arkansasbaptist.edu. So go to their website and just search around, learn about the school, request a tour, call them, engage with them. Um, I'm sure they will be overly excited about this. So that's all I have for you guys today. Our next college will actually be Arkansas Northeastern College. Uh, that's going to be a new one for me, but I'm excited to learn about something and help expose you guys to different colleges around the state of Arkansas. So again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.